I want to tell you about a cool trick to see okay. to see the full moon without optical aid and seeing much more de detail than you uh, would would normally do. It doesn't have to uh, be a bottle cap. That's that's what I used. You just want some opaque plastic uh, sheet, and you want to drill a hole in it, one sixteenth of an inch or one point five millimeter. Drill a hole in it. Hold the bottle cap up to your eye while you're looking at the moon. Now, why, why would we want to do this? Well, for a couple of reasons. Uh, this hole reduces the amount of bright moonlight entering your eye. So it cuts down on the glare that you see. So instead of just seeing a bright, fuzzy, glary object in the sky, you'll actually see some detail on the moon. Number two is that the hole is small enough that it lets light in that will only enter the center portion of your eye's pupil. The outer portion of the pupil generally is where most eye defects occur you know, astigmatism, right. nearsightedness, and so on. So this blocks that. So it really increases your visual acuity. When, when you try it, you, you'll see the round moon in the sky. It's still very small. You're not, you're not magnifying anything, but you'll be no. able to clearly see the light and dark areas on the moon. You'll be able to see that there isn't much glariness in your eye. So it's, it's not like you're being overwhelmed by the brightness of the moon. Another, another trick, take a straw and hold it up to your eye and look at the moon through it. Now, I know you've probably all heard of the big moon illusion in that the full moon seems so much bigger when it is closer to the horizon. Right. And as it rises, it miraculously shrinks somehow. But that's an illusion. This is how we disprove it? This is, this is one way of doing it. So tonight, when you <laughs> see that moon, hold up a drinking straw and just look through it. And note how big, actually, how small the full moon is through the drinking straw. Come back a couple hours later when the moon's quite a bit higher in the sky and try it again. And you'll see it's exactly the same size. So I, that's a confirmation that you're uh, not going crazy or anything. The moon <laughs> may, may look a little bit bigger as it's rising and it shrinks as it, it rises, but not really. One more thing for sunglasses. People think I'm crazy when I say this. Sunglasses. Wear these suckers when you look through binoculars at the moon. The moon will be very bright through binoculars. And oh, that's a great idea. So just go boom. It uh, never it occurred helps. to me. It helps. That's why we have you here, John. You're an experienced observer. That has never occurred to me, and I've been observing for decades. You've heard the song, Wear Sunglasses at Night. So that's what it comes from. Mm -hmm. Not not really. I do I just wear my sunglasses up. at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we need to know about this, John? I think the most important thing for this is to go outside and have a look, right? Ah, you took the words out of my mouth. That is the most important thing. You, you can talk all you want. You can read all you want. But if you don't go outside and look at it, well, okay, well, maybe, maybe next month. And it doesn't have to be a bright moon. You can go out and look at the moon all month long. She's in constant and changes continuously for us. Puts on a different show every night of the month. Go out and enjoy it.